Hey guys, how you doing? So, like I said, Christmas every day. <laughs> yeah, got another package today, and it's from the father himself, Kylie. CKC knives is awesome. So, and this is like a double, double Christmas. Let me tell you. So, first one, funny enough, the the father of the idea is the only one who kept the original design, not putting the handle on. He did a beautiful finish on it though, he did the horizontal lines and really nice grind on it. Beveled everything very nicely. These little buggers are hard to be bevel. So, and yeah, like I suspected and like somebody said, Kali is a number zero. So there it is, little funky rabbit. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful man prize blade. With the leopard wood, or also known as a snake wood. Funny enough, this is actually wood that I've sent him a couple months back. I've sent him a piece that I had left over. Just, and I figured that he could use it. I always throw in all different things that I think that uh, that I don't know that he would have. And I think that he would make him happy for something. And he could use it. So this was actually one of the pieces of wood that I've sent him and he used it. He put nice mosaic pins in there. And just beautiful work, you know, nice. He polished up that, polished up the that forged finish. Nailed really nice grinds on it, nice and thin. Just knocked off the edge, just a tiny bit. This one really is. This one actually would probably consider it sharp. And I will be curious and gotta test this. Actually, not on this, not on the fine, not on the fine paper. So it is just, just. Just like Tim said, Tim also wasn't sure if he uh, dulled it. Actually, I don't know. No, no. It's beautiful. Very nice finish on it. Nice handle. And so there is number five. And like I said, today is a double Christmas for me. Because along with the package, with the competition blades, check this out. Yep. CKC EDC titanium frame lock and I gotta say I'm impressed I knew about and the funny thing is I was expecting it much more the way Kylie designed the, his lock face lock interface the, the, where they touches it's completely different than uh, any other frame lock that I've seen before it's kind of like idea from from kind of like a fail safe from uh, I think Bob Terzuola did it on the line and lock kind of similar concept of the way it's ground it's not by accident and the kind of nature of it is slight blade play up and down it's just because the way it is you just cannot do it without a blade play so I don't know if you can hear it. there is microscopic this is probably something what a lot of people would actually call just rock lock uh, lock rock it's microscopic but it will never bind on you you know when you use a folding knife especially if titanium frame lock hard it kind of bites in there and then you have to really push on it or stick something in there to disengage it this will never do it and also another advantage this will never disengage by accident well you can spine wag this no matter how hard you want it will never dis uh, disengage just by the nature of the lock and also 100% lock up so it will never shear off the lock face you know just when you have the little tiny piece engaging love the design love the blade shape you guys know that i like this blade shape it's the most i actually mentioned a couple of those gathering or you know knife talk videos with tough times and with other people it's like the most popular blade shape nice drop point with a little bit of belly up front it's very 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 popular you see this blade shape on uh, pretty much every popular knife almost every popular knife and uh, i guess it's there for a reason <laughs> it is very useful blade it's nice and light, those sliding holes help and I really actually like them. I was always a big fan of the lightning holes in the handles. Very nicely contoured, yeah, the beveling, you know, more than you see on most knives. Would I like to see even more than this? Yes, I would, but it's actually nice. It is, li it is a little more than you see on most titanium frame locks. Uh, will I change it? I don't think so. I don't think I will be changing this. Maybe the only thing I will change, I will dip it in the analyzing solution to analyze this. But I think that's about it. Grind is actually very nice, nice and lean. It's a nice thick stock, 
but it comes to it comes pretty much to zero grind with microscopic bevel and I'm just curious let me grab a piece of pine here since I am holding it let's see it cuts nice cuts very well look at that first cut but again with a folding knife I hate using losing it for such it hurts no matter what you do folding knife will always hurt unless it's one of the old school bulky handle ones <laughs> It's really cool. I have to tap it for a pocket clip, put a pocket clip on it. I probably, I'm scared of it, so I'll probably ask Jeff or somebody else to to do it for me. But I can't wait to use this. Flips open nice. I can. I have to probably tighten it a little more. It's it's it has a little side to side now, but I think just it, the side to side is normally just the tightening the pivot. I really like it. I am very impressed, Kylie very very impressed it's a beautiful knife I really like it beautiful for me you know you guys know that I'm not into the I don't I don't care when I say beautiful in my eyes most of the time it's beautiful tool not the beautiful as a visually beautiful stunning but as a beautiful tool really nice nice and comfortable fits my hand perfectly and it's it's just my size you know it's not too big it's not too small so it really is perfect really like it Kali thank you I I highly recommend this there's one on sale I think right now not sure if that's the little bigger brother to this or smaller it's on the gear bash so go check it out if you're interested I mean obviously these are not cheap but you know what they are worth the money at least for now, you know, I got different stuff from Kylie, and I know it's never cheap, but it's always worth the money, in my opinion. So, if you're interested, go check it out. Oh, and one more thing I want to show you. This is just for fun, because I know there's a lot of you guys that do like Warncliff blades. And there's a Warncliff blade that is actually going to tough thumbs. He's going to put the handle here, and it's going to be for our friend Killer Elite. Because he loved one of Kylie's designs, what he showed a while back. And uh, he did have it made for him, you know, cut and then put a grind on it. And this is a funny one. It has no, it was only one handle scale. I don't even know why is that. Maybe just a template, but check that out. That is a kill warm cliff. <laughs> really nasty looking thing. Funny, this is a humongous handle. Like, I couldn't probably even, with if the other scale was there, I couldn't probably even reach around the handle. It's really clearly made for a lot, lot bigger hand, hands than mine. But the, look at that hand in the shape. It's just kind of uh, kind of strider design hand a little bit. It's similar to it, it's a little different because it kind of has the drop to it. So <laughs> it's just nasty looking. Oof, nasty, nasty. Kind of like a worm cliff. Warncliff uh, Hogbill almost. Ooh, it did look dangerous. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys like this shape. Not my taste really, but it is cool looking. I gotta, I gotta give it that. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's getting better and better every day. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.